All right, hello, BC's Crazy World. Um, it's been a roller coaster since March third, twenty twenty-two. Um, I'm sure everybody's probably like, "Well, why isn't there no pictures of you and your guy, or what's going on, or everything?" Well. He ended up in jail. Yes, it's my fault. No, it's not my fault. And let me explain what everything. Thursday, we woke up. It was a normal day. Um, when we wake up. Anyways. It happened Thursday, March 3rd, 2022. Can't really give you a certain time. I ended up waking up, it was a normal day, he was fine, I was fine, we were not arguing or anything. At that point in time, we were still engaged, because he asked me to marry him yet again the last week before everything went on. Um, I, well, let me go back to this. I caught him cheating with this girl that is I feel like she's now using me even though yeah I'm crazy but I actually like her like her and I never thought seeing me into girls as much but yeah I do really like her she's a really amazing and sweet person and honestly I would probably do anything for her and I don't want to see her hurt and I've told her this multiple times. I've sent proof to her of multiple things. And yes, I know, sending stuff to people, trying to trying to prove you're right, is, I guess at some point, someone's going to say, well, that's all going to backfire in your face. Okay, well, yeah, it may, eventually, but I do know, I know, I'm telling the truth, and so does God. But I ended up going to the ER. I was supposed to go to work. I didn't go to work. I went to the ER instead. His mom and dad took me. There was some stuff going on online as well. I couldn't do much about it, and neither could he. Well... It ended up me having very bad chest pains which I still do I'm supposed to see a heart doctor at some point and stuff like that it escalated into when I got home I was like I'm home, even though he kept telling people while I was at the hospital, he was worried about me because someone was starting to come and kill me. Not him. Me. But. Back to what I was saying. I got home from the hospital. He was like, well, he never asked, like he usually does. Well, what'd they say? No hug, no kiss just worried about me well at this point in time they were still the girl he was cheating on me with and me alright the girl he was cheating on me with he stopped talking to her then started talking to her again and stuff they been they were dating three weeks prior to when we were talking so yes he was cheating on me around my birthday Well, okay, whatever. Past is the past. Whatever. Of course, I still see the good in him, and yes, I would still go back to him. So, yes, I'm crazy. Let me alone. After 
I messaged him. We were still continuing to talk on Snapchat and stuff. He was like, no, I'm not cheating on you, but I think we need to kind of put our engagement on hold a little bit. I'm not going to take it off any social media. And we need to... Or, no, I'm going to take my rings off. I'm my ring off. Because he was wearing one, too. <clears throat> and we need to find some couples counseling or something. <clears throat> well, at that point in time, that's when I knew something was up. I went and looked at his Instagram. He took me off of Instagram again. The name. My name. Okay, whatever. I asked him why. He's like, well, you told me I could. Yes, I did tell him I could, but he told me he wasn't going to. So, whatever. Then I was messaging that girl, too, because that girl was trying to be, you're my best friend. She was trying to be lovey-dovey. And she was trying to, honestly, at that point in time, she was two-faced. I still kind of feel like she's two-faced, but... She gets hurt, she gets hurt, that's not on me. We, I've tried to tell her until I was blue in the face. Because he's a cheater. That is a given right there. He is definitely a cheater and he don't care who he's with. He will go behind their backs, then delete stuff to cover it up. He's told me that. So whatever. Well... That happened has because he he asked to see my phone after I got back. He's seen my phone. Um, he didn't really see anything in my phone, so it didn't really matter to me. I have nothing to hide at that point in time. I never had anything to hide. Yes, I fucked up before and told his friend I loved him. And that I wanted to be with him before. But we never got together. Me and his friend never did. But we resolved that issue. Even though he kept throwing the past in my face. Well. Come to find out. Like I said. I found him cheating. On me with this chick. Yet again. Because she said. He don't want you, sweetie. He wants me. Pretty well, it said I was ugly, I was stupid, that I needed to grow up, I needed to get a life, blah, blah, blah. Well, and then I kind of tossed his phone at him after I read his messages, after I sent her a message. <clears throat> he... He got, in the, well, he got up from the chair and that's where I tossed the phone at was the chair he was sitting in I got up I walked I walked to the room and I said you promised me you'd never cheat on me everything like that you proposed to me and stuff what the hell happened he's like I don't know I, at one point I did yes I loved you but we keep doing this you can't keep you don't trust me stuff like that at this point, why should I trust him? Well, I ended up throwing something, a box, towards the door after I hit my head on the door frame. My head never really hurt, so. But then I went to the room and stuff, and I was like, I was hurt. I was crying, I was hurt, I was devastated. Didn't know what I should do. I called his mom. Me and his mom talked. She was going to try to see what we could, they could do. Got it. Um, so I got off the phone with her. I called a couple of my friends up. Yes, one of his, my friends is another one of his exes. Called her up and I called our friend Jack and Seth up. Well... He came in the room. He decided he wanted to get his pillows. Whatever. I hid my phone to where the, he couldn't see who I was talking to or something like that. 
cop showed up because he told me he was calling the cops on me. Cop showed up. They talked. One officer talked to me. One officer talked to him. They were like, since you've been there an X amount of days, you're considered as a resident. <clears throat> and you get Mel here. So, they couldn't remove me from the home. They couldn't remove him from the home. We made an agreement to the cops that we would stay in separate rooms. That, that's when they left. Then he came and got the pillows. He walked out, shut the door, and said, I hope you're not talking about me. Well, I said, what's the point you and your girlfriend are? At that point, we were still escalated because he decided he wanted to grab my son's shoes, try to throw them away, and then he's like, nah, forget it. Set my son's shoes down and try to grab my laptop, tried to toss it, and I snatched it from him and put it behind my back. It was still escalated, so I told the, and then he walked and got his, my son's shoes again and threw them in my directions. Those three friends I was talking to seen that. They were on video chat with me. Well, that point in time, I told them, I said, I will call you all back. I have to call his mom back. His dad picks up. I told his dad what was going on. I told his dad, the cops told us to leave each other alone. One stay in one room, the other stay in another room. And I said, I am. I don't want to go out there. I'm fine. Well, he also proceeded to say, well, I want my cover back. He tried... He tried to snatch it from my hands. I ended up getting burn marks on my hands because of the type of blanket it is. He he ended up snatching my phone off the dresser. And then his words was he tossed it on the bed. But it hit my arm. I still have a bruise to prove it and my arm still hurts. I am not the person it bruises easy, but it hasn't went away. Next thing, next thing was I called his dad back. I was like, what do I do? He threw my phone at me after he snatched it off the thing. He still won't leave me alone. What do I do? He's like, call the cops. I'll talk to him. I'm on my way over or something like that. I don't know. I don't remember if he said he was on his way over or not. I do remember him saying, well, call the cops. I said, okay. He didn't get out. He was on it. No. He didn't get out. He was on his way over. Yet until, I guess, we hung up. <clears throat> so he didn't, he didn't tell me not to call the cops and I didn't hear it when he said not to. So that was both of our mistakes. Well, cop showed up when his, after his a few minutes after his dad showed up. Wait, let me go back. After I got off the phone with his dad, I called the cops. Cops told me, can you go, or the, uh, the, Whatever her, whatever they are, police receptionist or whatever, um, she told me, can you go out and can you go into another room, get away from him, please, because he was yelling at me and he said I'm allowed to keep my door open, stuff like that. I was already in another room and he was, he wanted to keep the door open and stuff, and I didn't want it and stuff like that. Well, she said. I'm sending officers your way now. Try to stay in another room. Stay away from him. I kept asking him to please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. He never did. <clears throat> yes, I smacked him. Because I went in the living room and got my cover and I smacked him on his arm. He's telling people that I pushed him to the point where he almost fell over and hit his head. I did not push him. 
after that, I went back to the room. He kept trying to keep the door open. I went over by the door and I was keeping the door shut. I was standing in front of it barricading myself in. So how the room is set up and the door, there's a little thing where the closet part is or something for the bathroom and the bedroom type closet is. So it sticks out a little bit. He kind of got stuck in between there and he told me, he's like, well, you, if the door breaks, it's on you. No, you're the one pushing on the door. I'm just trying to keep myself from getting hurt. Or you coming in because I kept telling you to leave me alone. After that, the cops, that's when he heard his dad coming in. And he ran back to the living room like he did nothing wrong. <clears throat> Whatever. Cops showed up after his dad showed up after him and his dad was talking while well, kind of yelling at each other a little bit. I don't know. Raising their voices. I don't know what you want to call it. I talked to the cop. I said there was two officers here before you all even came. And I'm sorry I wasted your time to come out here. But I... And I showed him my arm. They said... And the cops that came back said... That wasn't there when I was here. So... Apparently he was outside... I guess talking to them, I don't know where exactly they were. I was inside talking to them in the bedroom. They did a report. They took pictures of me. They said that, <clears throat> as I told them, I said, I don't want to press charges. They said, in the state of Kentucky, we have to. So he's already going downtown. I didn't have to. He went to jail. He got out on, I think, that Friday night. 24 hours after he went in. So, at that point in time, when he was in there, they put a no contact thing on to where... He couldn't contact me at all. So I've tried to message people numerous of times and stuff like that for them to even drop it or at least put a no lawful or something contact order or something like that. I called them Monday, which 4th was Friday, 6th was Saturday, I think the 8th, which was a Monday. Called them Monday at 9.05, talked to someone down there, and asked what I should do. They gave me an email address, they gave me his case number, they gave me what I needed to put on it, what I needed to put on it. I messaged them, no, no, nothing. Well, I told his mom and dad that I messaged him, or messaged them, and everything like that. Stuff is getting said. There's still been stuff going on and said. At this point, yes, I would love to have him back. But after we both seek our help that we need, I miss him. My son misses him. And I don't know what else to do. I am up the creek right now without a paddle. And I would do anything for him, honestly. I I love him. I still see the good in him. And when if he ever sees this and watches this all, I'm sorry for everything I did. Sorry for smacking you. Sorry for making you feel guilty. Sorry for everything. Sorry for guilt tripping you into staying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I fucked up on a lot of things that I did. I'm sorry I never gave you a chance to try to be you to see which, where we needed to be in life I'm never giving up on you and I'm never going to look for anybody again because I want you I love you and I will always love you I'll be right here whenever you're ready 
I'm not going anywhere. I don't want another person or anything. I will do anything. I'll move mountains for you. I will stick up for you. Anything. Me and Junior both love you. And we just want everything to work out. So, in this conclusion, this is the video on what happened. There's still stuff going on till this day. But other than that, I guess it's just a waiting game. So I will talk to everybody later. Thank you for watching BC's Crazy World. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, everything. Also go to his page, J or Justin J.P. Johnson. Favor him. He's an amazing singer. And I'm hoping he gets to where he needs to be in life for the, his music. I will hit y'all up later. Bye!